Now, the most important thing when we want to learn React is first being able to understand how we download and install React. Okay, so and now we're going to understand that how we download the npm, which is again Node.js structure. We need the Node.js in order to install and work with this React framework. My name is Dr. Zishan. If you're here for the first time and want to learn the React, today we're just going to show you how you install and work with the React. Whereas in next class, we're going to cover the entire complete course of React. So don't forget to subscribe and follow along. Along, and we will be working more with JavaScript, JavaScript EJX, about JavaScript uh, ECX6, and many other tutorials are on the way. So don't forget to follow along and subscribe. So let's get into it how we install and know Node.js and enable the React.js project using VS Code. Let's begin. So, in order to download and use React, first thing you need is Node.js. Node.js basically is an open source cross platform JavaScript runtime environment. It allows us to run JavaScript outside of the normal uh, HTML and browsers. Okay. So, in order to download it, just go inside the Node.js.org and download the default package. Okay. Once you do that, in my case, I'm downloading the Mac version, or you can do the same for the Windows version as well. Once you do that, open it up and run the installation package. Okay, as soon as you do that, the installer pops up. Click on continue, read all the license agreements. Zoop, I did all that and click continue. The continue installation software, you must agree to the terms. So we do agree with them absolutely without any hesitation. And then let's just click on install. So I'm going to leave the default installation folder. If you're doing it on Windows, again, leave it on the default. It's always better. Then click here, provide the password needed. That's it. So it will install the Node.js in your system. Once it's installing, make sure you have already downloaded VS Code. Okay, you would be we or we would be using VS Code for future references. This will use VS Code um, and it makes things a lot more easier. Once this is installed uh, and make sure it's available in your local path uh, in your Windows. Once it is done, click OK and allow installer to access download folders and just remove the default installation. Once it is done, open VS Code. And again, if you need VS Code, you can go inside the browser and down search for VS Code download it's a free software freely available you can use it it's wonderful for programming all my video lectures are based on vs code got it so once you have a vs code installed and running you can use vs code for the terminal purpose or you can open up your own default terminal and use that as well okay so here um, we can type in node minus v in your terminal and it should give us the version number okay so uh, if you're using Windows, use command prompt. Or if you're using Mac, you can use terminal window. Okay. Once you type in node V, it should give you the node version. That means the node has been installed and Mac or Windows now recognizes how it's supposed to happen. So you can open the terminal inside your uh, VS code as well. I always recommend do that. It makes things for me a lot more easier. So you open up a new terminal window. Inside the new terminal window, now you need to create a new React project. To do that, we use the command npm create and I type in white at the rate latest. Okay, so this will bring up the latest command. Again, I will leave the commands in the description below. You can check this out. This will basically create a new project. This is a new way or latest versions of how we create the project. The older way of using NPM and creating React project is now depreciated. So you need to install following three packages. If it asks you, we'll say yes, we need to install these packages and let it wait. It will create and install these packages. Now it's going to ask us for the project name. Okay, so if I move it up, so it's going to ask us, hey, what's your project name? The default, every project we start is called Remy React dash app. That's a default project name. Again, not necessarily give any project names you want. Usually you find this is the first project name that people tend to use. Okay, so I can say my React app becomes my project name. Then it asks us, hey, what framework you are using? Since we are using React, you can go for React or if you go for any other works, if you're learning that, you're welcome to do that. Currently, we're just working on React. So I'm just going to select React with the arrow keys, press enter. Then it's going to ask us, hey, are you going to use TypeScript or JavaScript? So I'm going to just say, I'm just going to use the standard JavaScript, select the JavaScript using arrow keys, press enter. Voila, that's it. It's going to do the installation. And now it says, hey, everything is done. Now you need to run these commands to run the program. Okay, to do that, we're going to type in CD, uh, for example, my React dash app. So what CD means, go to this my React app directory. So if you type this in, it should take us to my React directory. If it is not taking us to my React directory, that means that it's not able to find my React directory, which because I misspelled my to my. Make sure you spell it correctly. My React app. Voila. So now we see it says my Zishan, my name, my React app. So it basically means it's working. Thank God. Right. Now NPM and we just type in install. So this should install 
the npm files necessary within my react project and just give it a few moments done so once it is done it will install uh, all these required packages and files within your npm project once it is done now we need to run the npm server to do that we use npm run dev okay so npm rev, run dev is the command that we use to run the server and once the server is up and running it should give us white 5.4.1 or whatever the version you have installed this is the latest version we just downloaded once it is there we get the local server host name okay so this becomes now our local server copy this go to your browser and type in your url press enter you should see white react app page so this is a demo app page that we will get by default by installing the demo application then just simply click on the react button and you will find out that it has a very simple counter okay we will be developing counters in ourselves later on with some few more advanced features but there you go so now your react is working perfectly done and that means that you can begin working on the react project that's all it takes so just in case if you close the server and if you close the browser everything again so for example if you shut it down and then you want to come back to it all you need to do is go back into your new terminal and then type in uh, cd my dash react dash app so it should take you to the my react app making sure you are in this project just type in npm uh, run and then dev Okay, so this is the command again when we used initially so we move to our current project folder and we type in this command and it will restart the server and then you can easily recopy or just refresh the page and you should be able to access your vs server again so if i recopy it go to my browser and then click on whoops enter see this the react app is still working perfect so now it means we have already set up the react and everything is working and wonderful next we can open up the project in our vs code to do that click on open folder go to your projects uh, directory where you have created the folder or in my case i've just created in my Zishan's folder i can see my react app and then i just click on open okay once we do that now we have all the current relevant react files and we can start working with our react project just a quick intro um, node modules will contain all the necessary module files that we need for react usually we don't temper with them we just leave them as it is Public folder contains all the public assets. For example, white SVG, the image that we see here is basically coming from here, which is a URL. If you use this, um, it basically means it's a public folder. The files will not be equally compressed and bundled with your final uh, output. So they will be always remaining public. So we usually put on the public URLs here. That was that's what you actually see here. See this? The URLs are here. Then we actually will be working 99% time in this SRS folder. What we do in the SRS is actually this is a source folder. All of our React and uh, CSS and files basically go inside here. Within this, again, we have an asset folder that contains the React SVG. Assets and publics are similar, but public files will be publicly separately available. And usually that's why we just leave the URLs inside it. Assets, all the files will be actually bundled together and packaged with your final project. So all images, videos, uh, all graphics that you want to put in your project, usually we save it inside assets folder. Then we have what we call our main Java JSX. JSX stands for JavaScript XML. I have already a detailed video on XML and how we use XML for that. So if you want to learn more about it, do check the channel out. Main JS is basically your main starting point. It's like a main JavaScript. This is where the code of starts to work in terms of React. And we have in this what we call an app that we have imported. Again, React works with respect to modules. So this is an app module that has been available here. This app module, uh, module has been actually imported from this app, uh, this line. If you check it out, there's a file called app.jsx, which is JavaScript XML. So this is our app module that has been created, which we can see in this example here. So this is actually the whole app module that uses the counter and everything. Okay, so this main becomes our this file. Again, there are two CSS attached. This app module has its own CSS and the main file that we are using, which is the main starting point, like a main function, uses its own CSS file, which again is used for design purpose. Then we have an index.html. We know that every server needs the starting point. So that's the first thing that we do when we load up the files is actually index and from the index we start our system so index actually you can see has a div id called root types a module and then it loads the main jsx so that's what index all does right the whole purpose of index is to load up this particular file okay main.js so actually the code starts from here with javascript uh, for javascript react got it 
wonderful so i hope you understand this now uh, in next classes we're going to delve much deeper into react so don't forget to subscribe and follow along if you want to learn react completely with me using w3 schools and we're going to talk more about this in next classes this is dr zishan signing off